it's Kali and today we'll be unpackaging my Shizuku cosplay which is just the Marin cosplay from my dress up darling it's one of the if you haven't watched the series it's one of the cosplays she does so it's like cosplaying a cosplayer in cosplay there's a lot of cosplay there <laughs> so I just got this actually I got this like a week and a half ago I've been waiting to actually unpackage it until I was filming the unboxing for you guys which took a lot of willpower. I, historically speaking, like my costumes. It's not like the same level of quality that you'll get from Doki Doki cosplay. So I'll be realistic. I'm not gonna be too hard on them because it is very affordable cosplay. And I also did get it at a hefty discount. So <laughs> I'm honestly not gonna complain too much about that. But I may talk about where it might need some alterations and fixes if you're looking to buy it for yourself to know the level of expertise you need on your end to make it look really good. I see them as a great brand for saving some time on cosplays, although I usually still have to put in some level of effort. I also did not buy the wig from them. Uh, their wigs are wonderful. So the shiny fibers on a wig are actually really great for long wigs because they're less likely get, to get tangled. And Mick Costumes uses the very thin, shiny, or I think it's thick and shiny, I forgot. But the shiny fibers that won't tangle as easy, although they do make a much thinner wig because of that. So for this cosplay, because the hair is shorter, I decided to go with a more matte, thicker wig because it just would look so much better in my opinion. So for the other cosplay I got, please make sure to go to my channel and hit subscribe to see it in the future. But let's get started. Okay, let's start off with the main dress. Oh, I totally forgot that this is not a very flat chest friendly cosplay. Oh! This is nice. They actually added padding to this too. So here's the base dress. I believe I ordered a medium. I used to always try to order very close to my size, but now that I can sew, I usually size up. It's got this really pretty organza type material towards the bottom for the fluff. And then this feels like a polyester of sorts. It's kind of, this is actually a really pleasant material. And then this is a little like lace material with a bunch of glittery flowers all over. And the back is shirred. Super cute. I can't wait to try this on. Next up is the apron. This is very cute. They did a really good job on this. Really like this fabric because it's got a slight shimmer to it. And I think that that's really beautiful. The one thing, you guys, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I hate this. I hate Velcros on cosplay with passion. Because what's going to happen, wig hair, anything, whatever, dirt in the air, whatever it is, it's going to get stuck in this Velcro and then your Velcro stops working eventually. Luckily, the good thing about Velcro is if you get stuck in that situation or if you put it through the wash, threads will get caught in it and such, is you can always focus. You can always pick these with a, a seam ripper and remove the velcro from the piece and then you can always sew in snaps yourself or whatever closure you like. I usually use velcros until they start to get like lose their texture and then instead of buying a new cosplay or buying a new piece just remove the velcro and put put stuff there that's more helpful than velcro. I also feel if you need something that's really well fitted and like you're gonna go to a con, for example, eat some pizza, because pizza's really good, and you're gonna get a little bit bloated, because, like, human bodies, that's what happens. Um, once that bloat hits, like, the Velcro just comes right off. So if I wear it to a con, I usually also remove the Velcro. But Mick Costumes puts Velcro on everything, so that's totally expected. I got it for, like, 50 bucks, <laughs> so I don't expect a ton. Um, just for you guys to know. Next up, because this just fell out of my little pot. This is the little head piece. So something I love about this is that this is like a really seamless, flawless finish. Like you, you don't see any glue. You don't see like anything sticking out, which is quite nice. Uh, there's been some issues I've had with other costume companies where I get things and parts like that, you can see the glue spilling out of them and it just looks really nasty. Honestly, 
this is a better job than I would probably do making this. So I really appreciate this and I really like this. I think it's clean and beautiful. I love that the collar is separate from everything else. Like this is really quite nice because this is gonna make it so like, I don't know, that's just nice. I like it, I appreciate that. Once again, a Velcro. Not as bad though on the neck piece because I mean like the wig is going to cover it and you. I don't think anyone's neck expands throughout the day unless you were swallowing a ton of food. Oh my gosh, if I knew this was in the bag I would have used this for my resume cosplay this week. This is so funny. So this is the neck piece. Ready, ready guys, watch this. I have had this costume sitting around for like a week and a half now. And I bought this for my Reze cosplay. I wouldn't have even need to buy, I wouldn't have had to buy this if I just knew I had this in the bag. This is really nice. This is just as high quality as the one that I got for Reze. I actually like that it doesn't have a buckle on this. I freaking hate buckles with a passion. It's like I always need someone to help me put them on. Like I can't ever just put them on by myself and it's really annoying. I guess the one thing I wouldn't like about this though is because the snaps are like this. If you're not putting it on the tightest setting, you're gonna see the snaps. But this also goes in the back under the wig, so like, it's not a big deal. Next up is bow. It's with the same material as the apron. Love this material. Good quality, heavy. We like it. <laughs> I didn't realize she even had a tie in this costume. And now thinking about it, yes, yeah, she does. But it's a tie. I don't know. I didn't think it was a tie, but it's crazy too. I read that manga so many times that I never noticed that detail. Good job, my costumes. <laughs> this is, is pretty obvious what this is, isn't it? Oh, okay. I see how this works. So this is the garter belt, but instead of working like a normal one it to make it more adjustable for like more people, um, they didn't put like the bra hooks on the back like instead it's really stretchy elastic so it would definitely fit a lot of people next up we have the tights i'm not even gonna bother unpacking actually i'm gonna have to for the try on so let's see if these fit these feel like they'll be a really really tight fit because like at the top here the more sturdy part it's like really thick guys i freaking love petticoats I love it. It's so cute. 10 out of 10. We'll never complain about getting a petticoat. You guys have to see my petticoat pile. You see all those petticoats? There's like actually five of them up there and there's more down here. Oh, hi, Bubble. Where'd you come from? Okay, I'm going to give everything a quick press with the iron and then do a try on for you guys. I'm putting it on right now and I have definitely decided not to use this garter belt. Um, it is just, it is bad. It's not supposed to pull down. That's the whole point of it. But it is just pulling down when I put it on, so I'm gonna use my own, but not for this try on. <laughs> okay, here it is. So it's actually quite cute. I really love it. Um, here's the back. I know my bow is super crooked, but I don't have anyone to help me right now put it on, right? So don't mind me. <sighs> I love these sleeves. The material ironed out really nice. There's the thigh pieces. Here's a closer look at the neck pieces too. This clips onto this and this goes over the collar and the tie goes under. Yep. And oh, something I absolutely love about this is that there's like snaps on the top of the shoulder so this doesn't fall off. Which is something I do to my own cosplays all the time. So I really appreciate that they took that moment to kind of consider what it was like to wear this. Um, which makes it a lot better. Now for some critiques. So, I didn't really have any until I put it on, but first of all, these thigh pieces are a bit too small. Like, just the teeniest bit would have helped. I don't think they go as high as they should, or the skirt's not as long as it should be. It's one of the two, or maybe a combination of two. The skirt is definitely too short. Like, if, if, you, if you wear this in public and do not wear shorts with it, like, credit to you, but like, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Like, this is that level of short. 
Um, also the shoulder pieces, like, I don't know if I just have narrow shoulders, but like every chance they get they want to come down. So I'll probably tighten that, just take it in a little. I don't, yeah, this corset isn't actually functional, so you can't actually tighten it in. But I'm going to see if there's a way I can just bring these in a little closer together. Which, there's no zipper in back, so I can probably just pinch it together in the back a little. Um, it actually fits really well. Um, a critique that I do have, and this is for cosplayers who do not have small arms. Um, this piece doesn't stretch or anything. Like, it is very, very fitted after the floopy sleeve. So, like, getting this piece on and off takes a little bit of, like, tugging. So yeah, I actually overall really like this. I actually think it would be well worth its full price, which I think is about $80. Uh, it's not as high quality as some that I've seen. Like, I, I don't know, the length of, like, either the thigh pieces or the dress I think I have a problem with because I am average height. Like, I'm not short, but I'm not tall either. So I feel like it should fit someone of average height. Like, I don't think her skirt was this short in the anime either. Like, it's like booty short length skirt, so I, I don't mind. It's just my, if I'm being really critical about it. But overall, I actually do think it's worth the money, and I actually do like it quite a bit. It's a really good, um, affordable cosplay, uh, and it looks, it looks amazing. I really like it. I'm really excited to do the full cosplay. I have the wig over there. So I will see you guys in a few days or next week or whenever I post next. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, all the links for everything are in my bio usually. So please check out the link to this costume on the Make Costumes website if you are interested. Bye!